I'm Mina Harris and I am the author of two children's books. The first one is Kamala and Maya's Big Idea and my second book is Ambitious Girl and today we are going to read Ambitious Girl. I am so excited to read my book to you. Ambitious Girl, there she is. So it opens up with no text, but there is a woman I see and she's on TV and she is speaking from a podium in front of a large crowd. And there is ambitious girl looking at her. Now there are lots of words coming at her. It says, too assertive, too persistent, too pushy, too loud, too proud, too confident, too ambitious. Don't let anyone tell you who you are. You tell them who you are. When I grow up, I hope to be all the things I can see in a world that's changing fast and slow. A world I'm only beginning to know. I want to go, go, go out the gate but sometimes all I hear is, wait. And if I try to resist, it's your to that or your to this. Those words may try to dim my light, but mommy says that words passed down can build me up to new heights. Standing tall like a soaring tower, I am valued, I am loved, I have purpose, hope, and power. Ahead of me, sisters, aunties, mothers have opened so many doors. Grandma says, you may be the first someday, but don't be the last. Make space for more. No one can tell me who I am or who I'm meant to be. Auntie says what has always been is all they're able to see. I'll take my time and claim my place and show the world this is me. Persistent means I won't give up. Assertive means I won't back down. Confident means I believe in me. Proud means I cheer for us, the world around. Ambitious means all of that and more. I have goals, but I'm not keeping score. Ambitious girls, we get things done. If life's a race, we're ready to run. If we fall, we get back up. And if we fail, it's a chance to disrupt. No to that or to this will stop what's inside of us from flowering. From now on, when I hear to that or to this, I won't mind. It's empowering. I'll take up space, I'll shout if I please. I'll laugh and I'll play and I'll jump at the sun. I'll wear the words thrown at me and I won't take no from anyone. I'm not afraid to make some noise. I am more than ready to use my voice. Because there's no to that or to this 
when it comes to being ambitious. Ambitious girl of the year. The end. And this is my author's note, so I will read it to you. I sometimes joke that I grew up in a family that was sort of like the opening scene of the first Wonder Woman movie. I was surrounded by smart, strong, ambitious women who ran around supporting one another and saving the world. My mom, aunt, and grandma raised me to believe ambition was a good thing. Ambition means owning and living your purpose. It means self-determination. It never occurred to me until I was much older that this could be anything but positive, something to be celebrated. I've worked hard to make sure my own daughters are raised with these same fundamental values that shaped my childhood. So when I heard people criticizing one of the women in our family for being too ambitious and it was amplified by the media, it stopped me in my tracks. Not because I hadn't heard something like that before, but because as a parent, I felt a new sense of urgency to make sure my young daughters and girls all over would have the tools and language to reframe, redefine, and reclaim what they will inevitably hear in the real world. In writing this book, my greatest hope is that girls dare to define their own unique purpose in the world and that they grow into strong, ambitious women. Thank you so much for taking the time to read with me. I hope you loved Ambitious Girl. I am so excited about this book. It has been an extraordinary, special journey of becoming a kids book author. And I'm just so uh, honored to get to share it with you. So thank you so much.